hello world, hello to the future. It's today. Our itinerary is that we will be going to General Santos City. So guys, I will be bringing you. So now we'll go there. Let's go. So hello world, hello to the future. Well, we already arrived here in General Santa City. And yeah. before going to the sunflower farm, yeah, we will first eat. Yeah, but look at that many food. My God. We are here in Tongyang. I'm using my chapstick. Yeah, we are built there and food. Hello to the future. Here we are now in Mariano's blooming agri tourism park, and the squad just arrived. Here they are, and so amazing! I'm so excited to see the sunflower. And this uh, tourism park or agri tourism park is located here in Porok 3A, Tope, South Cotabato Province. And the municipality of Tope is positioned at the foot of famous Mount. Matutom, a dormant volcano. Tupe is also dubbed as the fruit, vegetables, and flower basket of South Cotabato. And now let's check it out this uh, sunflower farm here in South Cotabato. Come on, guys! Hey! This is the reception area. Oh my god, I like their veggies and we need to, I uh, know, okay, thank you for that. So guys, you need to go here. How much is the entrance? 50. 50. Oh, it's here, guys. This is the entrance. For adult, it is 50 pesos. And for weekend, pag weekend. Pag weekend, oh, okay. Pag weekdays. So if, if weekdays, the entrance fee for adult is 50 pesos and if it's weekend or holidays it's 70 pesos beside the reception area are these cactus beautiful flowers and succulents let's have a selfie first so let's get inside the tourism park so guys, this is the flowers. Hey, I want some. And there's a bird cage over here. Which, then we got a waterfall. And there's a waterfall. So Hannah, show me the place. So guys, this one. Come here, Rayhana. Oh, do you have a love bird here? So how to get to this place? This place is an hour away from General Santos City's International Airport and the transport terminal is open 24 hours every day to and from Coronadal City and General Santos City. From Jensen, you can either ride a van or bus then get off at Tope National High School, then ride a tricycle to go to the fight. So here we are guys, this is the sunflowers. The bee eats. What? The bee eats like this. Yeah. The bee likes this. 
So guys, even though the park is known for its 5,000 sunflowers that bloom daily, other varieties are also featured for your eyes to behold. So guys, accordingly, these sunflowers is almost 5,000 and like every 10 days they planted a ten sunflower so that there is a continuity because you know that sunflower has just a, a short lifespan that, that's why for the tourists to enjoy the place they always plant sunflowers every 10 days so here it is Hello. so accordingly sunflowers bloom have a lifespan of three weeks only so let's have a 360 view of these sunflowers Beside this full-blown sunflower are the dead sunflowers and then on the other sides are the growing sunflowers. The park is not only bejeweled with sunflowers, different types of roses, anthoriums, and chrysanthemums among others are present three in. The main attraction in the park is the sunflower labyrinth. It is beautiful by far the most number of flowers I have seen. You can walk inside the labyrinth. Where are the other flowers over here? Time to go home now, guys. We'll go home now. We're going to our place. The Earth Place. The Malabang. And then Iligan. Yes. So it's time to go home, guys.